Number one, are you interested in watching TV ads or internet ads? To me, I really don't have a preference because to me, they are, they're almost the same. And the, um, to be honest, like I think, uh, um, I think when every time I see um, some, some sort of advertisement, especially when I check something by using my laptop, it keep popping up on my screen. That makes me pretty you know, upset because I always want to figure out a way to just uh, get rid of it, either click the mm -hmm. icon or, you know, Google has something say, do you want to see the advertisement? I say no, because I think that's covered the content I'm currently checking. Mm -hmm. So personally, I don't appreciate any kind of advertisement that pop up to my laptop screen. Mm -hmm. But TV, I guess I feel better because I saw lots of advertisement even since I was little. So if if you want me to choose one, I probably have to go with um, TV advertisement. Mm -hmm. uh, do you share advertisements with others? I, I don't think that's the case because nowadays we have all these sorts of modern technologies. So I bet everything I can see, others also can see. But sometimes if I, you know, if I see something really interesting, I will just let some of my friends know. Maybe um, I saw, let's say, a specific type of uh, fast food. McDonald's just, you know, advertised it. I, I may, you know, I may know some friends, so I just you know, let them know, say, hey, this is this item available. Um, it, it really depends on the scenario, but um, mm -hmm. usually I don't do that. Mm -hmm. Do you want to work in advertising in the future? Well, I'm afraid that's 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 not going to be the case because I'm very I'm a pretty quiet person. I prefer to everything by myself if you know, if that's the case. So I think if I'm I just cannot picture myself doing advertisement because I don't prefer these type of thing. I think sometimes, you know, people just sugar sugarcoat everything, make the item looks actually better than it actually is. Mm -hmm. So I think, no, I don't see this kind of happening. Mm -hmm. What last question, what kinds what kinds of ads uh, do you watch? Well, um, I think mostly something related to food because we especially i remember when i was younger i always saw these mcdonald's food either either like kfc or mcdonald's or pizza hut and they you know they made my life pretty hard because i i was pretty into food when i was little so every time if i saw an advertisement let's say they advertise a new type of pizza they just they just made i i remember i would just keep bugging my parents you know, buy it for me. Otherwise, you know, that's why, you know, they, they always complain about my behaviors. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, very good. Lovely. Thank you so much, Lucy. Uh, Reben, would you like to give feedback first? And then obviously I will follow. Well done, Lucy. No, that was great. <laughs> Reben, well, we, you, you can talk actually rather than using the chat. It's only the three of us, if okay. you don't mind. I'll let you yeah. decide though. I, I... I have some friends, uh, always we practice speaking and I usually deny giving feedback, uh, feedback because I'm not an expert, but here I like to tell her that. Oh, of course, of course, she, no problem. I, yeah. I will appreciate she it. She looks confident. She looks confident speaking mm -hmm. and she has a good <laughs> okay. control Thank over so her much. speech. That's, I agree. That's what I observe. And he can expand it. She can expand it. She could expand the topic. But sometimes uh, uh, it takes time to give an exact answer. You know, not always for, mm -hmm. I think, one, one of the questions. You know, right. just give, well, give a direct answer and expand it. You know, uh, that may be, but generally, I think it's maybe it's, it's a high band eight maybe i don't know yeah that's okay. all oh, I yeah yeah <laughs> thank you so much okay so lucy in terms of fluency let's be very specific here in terms of fluency you were definitely fluent uh there were only very occasional uh, hesitations and pauses so uh, the the flow was quite natural huh. one thing though that 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 kind of happened because your brain is working very fast <laughs> I can I I could hear that yeah and I think I think just on one or two occasions I wasn't 100% sure what I was hearing or I didn't hear the ending so 
I suggest you slow down tiny bit, tiny bit, because you know uh, you're definitely fluent. You have go on. I'm sorry, very. I, actually, that's my problem because oh, okay. I was I was so has... afraid. If I like give myself some time by myself, some time like think about it. I don't know if my examiner's like okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna grade this guy this guy now because she really hesitant whatsoever. So I kind of find a struggle bet between the balancing, you know, just mm. give my, like you say, okay, give, my, give myself some time to think about it. Or when you ask the question, I should immediately, I should start to answer it. Well, I mean, immediately, you know, it, naturally the way we speak, you see, I slowed down now because I'm trying, I'm actually pretending but I'm trying to think of the right answer. And I think for the sake of, uh, for the sake of practice, I think it's mm -hmm. useful actually to sometimes, especially when you practice by yourself, to mm -hmm. actually, we, we talked about this in previous, in previous sessions, use those pause fillers because they help you to slow down a little bit. Listen, Lucy, I'm not saying it's a big deal, but maybe, do you think it was due to nervousness or is that something that, that you, you do? You like, you, you basically speak fast naturally, would you say? I think maybe, maybe just like I already, I already said it. I kind of, when I, you know, actually in daily life scenarios, I'm speaking, I'm slower down, but in the okay. text, I don't know because there is a grading criteria like fluency. I was like, okay, if I pass, I mean, at the very beginning, you just give me a question, right? Then I give you this, this lens of time. Like I, I, I went silence module and you were like, okay, what, what's happening? So kind of like for me, uh, maybe a little bit, you know, struggle with this kind of thing. Oh, you mean, yeah. you mean you panic a little bit because you don't want to stop talking? No, is that what panic. it is? I was like, oh, sh when you ask a question, I was like, should I give my, myself some time to think about it? Or I should speak immediately because it's kind of like for me, it's pretty hard for me to do this sort of balancing. But okay, I think I can uh, but yeah, sorry, get on. myself some time maybe. Mm -hmm. No, Lucy, yeah, in general, this is good. But yeah, slow down a little bit if you can. Because basically, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. certain, like one or two words, I wasn't 100% sure I understood oh. or the ending. That, that's the only reason. Because yeah. overall, like 90, 99% of what you said, I understood everything. <laughs> okay. Okay. But listen, in terms of fluency, no, no big issues. Obviously, you know, you actually developed your answers very well, which is great. You used a lot of complex vocabulary. I'll give you... Uh, I'll give you a few examples. I mean, you know, you, you used a lot of it. So obviously I couldn't write everything down, but I like to give examples so that, you know, people are aware of what it is examiners are looking for. And the type of vocabulary you used, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of bind seven, band eight. You know what I'm saying? So th this is good. Uh, I can't picture myself. Uh, I don't have a preference. You know, simple things like, I try to get rid of it. Actually, careful there, because you talked about ads in plural, plural, and you say mm -hmm. you, you said that you know you said when they pop up, good good uh, phrasal verb there. I try to get rid of it. So careful there. You said ads in plural, oh. so I try to get rid of them. Yeah, it's a small thing, but you know something mm -hmm. to bear in mind. Something right. to bear in mind. Uh, you know, lots of good vocabulary, things related to food. I was really into food when I was younger and I kept bugging my parents and they, I would complain about this and that. So this is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Keep it up. Um, to be honest with you, two small things that I didn't hear correctly. And sure. I'm just going to put this in the chat for you. Uh, sure. Wait. Wait a minute, I don't you, you, you remember the exact sentence. Advertise mm. it. Something along the lines of when. Mm. Okay. You talked about you talked about advertising it in the past, right? Yeah. And you said it fast. What you should have said is when they advertised it. I think you talked about food, but you see. The, the, the issue here is when you link it, we say when they advertised it, did, did. Mm -hmm. I only heard when they advertised. I didn't hear this linking. Oh. It's a tiny little thing, 
but something to bear in mind. And one other little slip up, but listen, this is still, remember, this is a ballpark uh, 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 band, but that's kind of band seven, even with those tiny slip ups, yeah? Mm. He said, they make them looks. So what's the problem there? Uh, they make them look. Exactly. Should yeah. be look. Uh -huh. I heard the yes. But listen, that was very good. Like I said, slow down a bit. And like if you were to continue speaking like that and developing your answers in this manner, in part two or three, mm -hmm. you're basically asking for band seven at least. Yeah. 